Chapter 11 Amity woke up and ran to the bathroom. It was a calm Saturday morning until Amity was getting sick. Ash heard her and rushed in to help her. He tied her hair back and ran to the kitchen to grab a bowl for her. Ash helped Amity walk to the living room, where they sat on the couch together. Do you know what's happening, Ash? Amity asked. I think so, but I'm gonna go to the store to get something for you. Ash slipped his shoes on and walked to the vehicle with his wallet. When he returned to the apartment, he carried a small bag with a box of pregnancy tests and some chocolate for Amity. She went to use the test and Ash joined her to wait for the results. Amity ended up testing positive. I'll make a doctor's appointment for you. Ash said as he walked to the other room. Ash called his boss along with the doctor to ask if he could work extra hours for an increase in pay. Amity ended up quitting her job so that when the baby was born, she could stay at home to take care of the child. Within the first half year after hearing he would be a father, Ash ended up with a great promotion. His job was able to pay for a bigger house, but instead, Ash's mother was placed in a nursing home, so Ash and Amity were able to move into the beach house and afford everything else they needed. They moved from their small apartment into the house a few weeks after hearing the news. It wasn't until two months later that Amity had a baby girl. They ended up getting married around a year later and lived a happy life together with their little girl. Their daughter, Athena, was taught about what she is and how to keep her siren form a secret. No one has ever been aware that sirens live among them. Athena was taught of the secret cove and like her parents, visits the ocean often.